Hello, this is Mrs. Mills, your instructor for English 112, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the second argument paper. Now, a couple of things stay the same, which of course is the argument. You're going to incorporate elements of argument, which you did in your first paper, and all the MLA formatting um, with your reference list, your works cited, uh, your bib, and your parenthetical documentation or your in-text citation is going to stay the same. So you're still going to make a reference list and you're going to still cite in-text when you do this paper. However, this paper is a little different. This is, an, this is a problem solution paper. You're going to identify a problem, and please check the no list, as you know, um, and you're going to attempt to solve it. So I want to give you a, a little brief example here. All right, here's my problem, and this, was, uh, this problem is on the no list. That's why I'm giving you this example. Um, I have the problem of credit card debt. I'm going to identify the problem and then I'm going to attempt to solve it. Here, I only give you one solution, just for example's sake, but your paper is going to have uh, multiple solutions to your problem. Um, so you identify the problem, which again is credit card debt, and one of my solutions is to make a strict family budget. And your elaboration throughout your paper is going to be the process. How will that happen? Step one, step two, step three, and so on. You're going to complement that with research and, of course, apply the proper citations. So again, you're going to write a problem solution paper and you're going to persuade the audience to get on your side of the solutions. So again, one of my solutions is to make a strict family budget. I'm going to tell the audience how I'm going to do that. Maybe um, a family meeting can be called and wants versus needs in um, regards to financial um, obligations and maybe making a list of certain financial priorities can come into play. So again, you're going to write a problem solution paper with argument and process. How are your solutions going to play out or how are your solutions going to happen? All right. Now, one, good, um, one important thing about the paper, you cannot focus directly on the problem. All right. You're going to mention the problem, but you're going to elaborate using the solutions. Okay, you're going to elaborate using the process. Please do not write a problem paper. I could go and read about credit card debt forever. I can go Google, I can go NC Live, I can read all about the problem myself. The critical thinking element and the challenging element of this paper is to give your own opinions, your own ideas, and your own solutions to persuade the reader to accept your solutions, okay? So please do not dwell on the problem. Focus more on the solutions and the process. How are the solutions going to play out? And again, you're going to research and back up your theories, your ideas, your solutions with um, research, and then you would cite those correctly, as you know. So get to the no list, generate a problem, and um, the blog that's coming up focuses on pro, um, excuse me, pro process. So please read that last blog that you're going to do. It's a how-to blog, and that'll kind of give you um, a warm-up to process. Again, I'm, I'm sorry to say it, please don't focus on the problem. Of course, you can identify the problem and briefly describe the problem, but don't dwell on the problem. Focus on solutions and how those solutions are going to be addressed, okay? Um, the way you organize your paper is all up to you. You can have one major solution and break that down. You can have three different solutions and break those down, and that's why outlining is very, very important um, for your discussion boards and your brainstorming. You know, look at a, di look at a couple different options when you um, brainstorm your um, solutions and your processes. Um, I've had students do a paper on 
one major solution and they break that down. I've had students look at three or four different solutions and process them out. So you have options. Um, it's all on how you organize it and it's all about how you address your problem. So again, take a look at the no list. Um, start brainstorming. Um, incorporate that argument. Uh, remember your MLA formatting and good luck. Have a great day.